Every good comedy YouTube channel and every good comedian has at least one story about when they're arrested. This is mine. Alright, so like I said, every good comedic YouTube channel and every good comedian has a story about the one time that they were arrested. And I'm not talking about like Bill Cosby arrested, but uh, a funny story about something that happened to them involving the police. I've been put in cuffs uh, twice. I've been um, arrested allegedly once. Uh, more on that later. So, I have uh, what's known in the uh, world as depression, and somehow the police have worked their way into mental health. And it's not really necessarily the best thing for people, because generally people don't like the police. I, I find that whether you're a criminal or you're not a criminal, People just generally don't like police, and you can see why, because plain and simple cops are assholes. So it's just, uh, all it takes is some years of schooling and an ego, and they'll give you a badge, and you see all these sickening videos of uh, the police officers abusing their power, and people don't like police. It's like a general thing that they, they don't really like police. So. I get the police called on me quite a bit for safety checks to make sure, you know, I'm doing all right, I'm not losing my shit or whatever, and I deal with the police a lot, and in this particular case, they pulled me over um, while I was working, well, not really pulled me over, I voluntarily, I consented to meeting them, and, uh, First of all, I pull up, and I don't want to get out of the car. I'm like, I don't want, I don't want to talk to you. And they're like, well, can you get out of the vehicle for me? And I'm like, no, uh, this isn't a traffic stop. If it was a traffic stop, you'd be telling me to stay in the vehicle for your safety. And um, they're like, well, you know, we don't want, uh, we don't want you to be a threat. So if you could step out of the vehicle for our safety, I'm like, well, actually, I think I'll stay in the vehicle for my safety. There's four of you holding guns fucking batons, pepper spray, and tasers. I'm pretty sure you're the threat. I want to stay in here. So I comply. I comply and I get out against my rights, being the nice guy that I am. And we're talking about what's going on. And he's all, I want to go, I want to take you to the hospital and all this shit. And I'm like, no, I, I'm not going to go to the hospital. I don't want to fucking go to the hospital. So uh, 20 minutes of this. And then uh, it goes, uh, well, I'm getting the cruiser, and I'm like, all right, you know, I'm going to comply. I'm not going to give you guys a hard time. So I go to get in the vehicle, and he's like, we're going to put the cuffs on you. And I said, why, why are you cuffing me? And he says, oh, well, you know, it's protocol. And I'm like, it's not protocol. I've dealt with the police a lot, and they haven't been putting me in cuffs ever. Like, this isn't my first rodeo here, bud. And he's like, actually, you are under arrest. And I, I was... I don't know. I was allegedly arrested. I don't know if I was or not, or if it was under the Mental Health Act, or what the hell. So when I when I did the first time, I was actually um, being combative, and I ran away from the police officer, and he grabbed me, and I, I fell down, and knocked the wind out of me. I couldn't breathe, and I was just like, okay, you can cuff me, go ahead. And he's like, yeah, and I'm like, yeah, go ahead. So he put the cuffs on me, and then he he took them off as I got in the vehicle there because I was being compliant and this guy's putting them on me as I'm going into the vehicle and I remembered like the first time these these cuffs were they were shiny very silver and shiny and you know I thought oh that's whatever and now that I got these cuffs these, they're all like dull gray and I I says like well, what the fuck happened to your cuffs man Where, where'd you get these at the dollar store what the fuck what a if you're gonna get cuffed, you may as well have a little bling around your wrist and look like a rapper and shoot a video and shit. What is this? What kind of cuffs are these? Are these like the first cuffs ever fucking made? You know, he, as I said this, all this, you know, he tightens them up and <laughs> like, okay. 
You know, my cousin got this from my fucking grandfather who graduated the police academy and the chief said that he was very Fuck you. You fucking... You look like a fucking amateur with those doll cuffs there, bud. But people, people don't like the police, you know, and I understand why. I don't like the fucking police. You know, yeah, you got fucking pulled over for, for anything. You see all these videos and, and uh, of all this police brutality and using an unnecessary force and all this shit, and you wonder how these people keep their jobs and all this stuff. And there's that one guy in, I don't know, somewhere in America that was planting drugs. He was actually planting drugs on the people and sending them to jail. And I thought, this motherfucker should burn in hell right now. So this does not, this does not impress me much. And um, I'm thinking he would never, ever get away with that in my city. Cops would never be able to get away with planting drugs in my city, especially meth. They pull some guy over, they go around to the trunk, put the meth in, they grab it, they just put it up in the air. Well, 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 what do we have here? And some meth head be doing a pumpy arm run. <gasps> Mess, 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 yoink! And be like, oh shit! Go get that guy, he stole my meth! Oh shit! How am I supposed to party after my shift now? Jesus Christ. <laughs> they pull some guy over. Excuse me, sir, do you know why I pulled you over? Uh, I, I was black in a 50 zone, sir. Yeah. Hey, a crack pipe on the seat, that's a nice crack. That's a lot nicer than mine. Where'd you get that, online? I mean, can you step out of the vehicle, please, sir? E even when marijuana was illegal, it was like, you know, they pull it over, but like, I smell a strong smell of marijuana, sir. Is that your marijuana? Is that marijuana? No, that's not marijuana. Yeah, that's marijuana. And that's, that's Donnie's marijuana. That's my dealer, too. I can, I mean, can you please step out of the vehicle, sir? Walk in. Go to the little uh, cup holder there. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. It's a marijuana cigarette. Yep, that's the good shit. That's Donnie's. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to save some of this for evidence, but we're gonna have to pull you in, sir. That's that's not even an exaggeration. That's how the cops were in this city. They were just unbelievably terrible, and uh, so they put me in cuffs, and it, it got me. It got me thinking, you know, like uh, you know these these girls that are into like handcuffing people to the bed and tying it to the bed and all that. I, I, I wouldn't be able to handle that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't tie me to the bed because I've been in the mental ward. Okay? I am a certified basket case with paper. So you don't tie me to a bed because that's going to trigger some flashback of aides and nurses and security guards trying to strap me down to calm me the fuck down a little bit. I don't like being restrained, you know? I don't like being restrained. I can't handle it. I go like a ballistic, like a fucking animal. You know? When you let me go, you're, you're going to have to expect to get a, uh, a headbutt in the throat there a little bit. It's just expected because you're going to trigger something in me and I'm not going to, I'm going to lose control. And if uh, you're struggling to breathe and you happen to turn around, you're going to get a back of the head punch. I can't be having that, you know what I mean? It's like all these girls online and they're talking on Facebook and oh, I'm into bondage, I like a little this, that. Yeah, but can you take a punch? That's what I want to know. Can you take a punch? If I'm on your first date and we walk out in the back alley and we get jumped, are you going to have my back? That's what I want to know. Are you able to take a stone cold stunner? That's what I want to know. That's what makes a woman the me. You know? If I give you a people's elbow, are you going to kick out or are you going to whine like a little bitch? That's what I need to know. That's what makes a woman. For me, I don't care about this bonded shit. These cops, man, they think they're, they're you know, God's gift to, to authority figures, and they're all puffy rooster chest and all this stuff. It's like, come on, man. You know, and they costed me a day of work, which really, really pissed me off. You know what I mean? It's like, well, you're going you're gonna to lock me up. Well, you know, we care. I'm like, well, I care too, man. I want to go to work so I can make some money to pay taxes to pay your fucking salary. Shit, man, they're getting they're getting bored with this Kobe stuff. They're getting real bored. You know, and when they can't even do what they do best, go get coffee, it, it's, it's affecting them mentally and they're, they're snapping. They're fucking everywhere. It's like an epidemic. 
There's too many policemen. Every fucking where you go, there's cops. But, you know, there's, there's some girls, you know, they want to, like, have sex, like, all the time, every night. And it's like, I can't handle that, man. I can't handle that. If you get two out of me, you know, it's like a slot machine. You're like, wow, I got lucky. And then you go on to another one and you come back to me a little bit later. We need to refresh, you know. Because when us guys have an orgasm, I, I don't know if you know this, ladies, but we can't just have orgasm after orgasm after orgasm like you guys can. Like, it's no big deal. Okay, when we have an orgasm, our orgasms mean something, okay? If we have an orgasm, you know, we can't make any plans for the rest of the day. We could jerk off to network TV, and we have an orgasm, and that's it, man. It's just like, we're as gassed as a UFC fighter after five rounds in a heavyweight bout. We can't be doing this. We can't be keeping up with you. Even the most sex crazed fucking male can't do it. You love sex. You you don't love it that much when you're a guy and you're shooting cartilage. You know, we could have like three days off. You know, we can go like 20, 30 days in a row and hell no. What are you fucking out of your mind? I'm not the Energizer Bunny. Can't do it. You gotta, you gotta give us a break. You gotta let us, you know, recharge up a little bit. We can't keep up that way. That's what I was thinking for police. You know, at the police academy, one of the tactics, they could just jerk a guy off. They could jerk a guy off to take him down, you know? Put him out of commission for like 20 minutes. He's either going to be satisfied or pissed off. But either way, that guy is going down. I don't care how good a shape you're in. I don't care how bad a shape you're in. An orgasm takes everything you got. You know, it's a semi-automatic and you got to reload. You know, you can't just be firing off round after round and expect the gun not to jam. So the, the penis is a lot like a gun. When you're firing it, you can't expect it not to jam. And you got to reload. But a, a woman, it's just like, they go to war. Sex is like a war. They got those machine guns with the belt bullets that they're feeding in. They don't give a fuck. They can go all day. Well, we can't. You gotta accept that, ladies. You gotta cut us some slack a little bit. Cut us a little bit of slack so we can just regenerate, recuperate, and we can feel good about our performances. You know, sometimes the gun goes off prematurely. You know, you fucking go and we clean it and we forget there's one in the chamber. You know, stuff like that happens, and that's embarrassing. Most girls are nice, though. Most most girls are like, oh, you know, I take it as a compliment. Well, don't. You know, it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't anything complimentary to you. It was just something embarrassing that happened to me. Don't don't put a positive spin on this here. We like to last long. It feels good. So we don't want it to end. And finally, you guys get bored. Well, we'll go, you know, turn on the TV, watch The Simpsons. I'll finish up. It's fine. I don't really need you mentally here, you know, I just I just need your V-hole. I don't know, man, I don't know how they could just do it and do it again and do it again and they can masturbate all day and have sex six times a night. I don't know how they do it. We can't do that. We'll get caught if we're, we're masturbating too much and we have nothing to show for it during the sex. They know. They know. They're like, this guy cranks off a little too much. You know, it doesn't show uh, uh, elsewhere besides the whole performance. But the girl, yeah, if a girl's got a trigger finger, you'll you'll know that she's a, you know, she's a chronic masturbator. But well, I don't masturbate bullshit. Look at you've been hooking the G so much, your your hand looks like a professional bowler's after 20 years. Don't give me that shit. But all the power to you, man, because you can do it, right? But, but yeah, I think they should uh, take that into consideration in the police academy. They're already jerk offs, so maybe they should uh, learn how to jerk off. Stay ridiculous.